My short excursion at Port Villa was the Ekasap Cultural Village. I've been here several times before to Villa but never gone on this excursion. I make sure that I've got my things packed in my backpack, always carrying cash in small denominations, my photo ID, my glasses, my power pack, additional power cords, and in case it rains, I always carry a poncho. But the absolutely most important part of any excursion is making sure you've got the tickets and going to the meeting place at the right time as designated on your ticket. The birth for Carnival Splendor is Port Vila, which is an active shipping port. Early in the morning, you can see all of the local buses preparing themselves to be able to take the cruise passengers on both organised excursions. And up to the far end, to the left, you have general taxis and buses. So people without excursions move over to the left where if you have an organised shore excursion by the cruise ship, you go to the right when you exit onto the dock and follow the instructions to where to do the meet and greet for the shore excursions, looking for the person in the high-vis orange. Once your excursion is called, hand over your ticket and go find your mm. bus. After our 15 minute drive, we arrived at the cultural village and we were announced by the tribesman blowing a conch. The tribesmen were very protective and territorial and making sure that we had good intentions. Like a tattoo sign, if you go beyond this, many, many, many years ago, you're going to be killed. So I have to pick the palm leaf. The chip is holding. The chip is holding a palm leaf. That's the only way you save the villages around here in Vanuatu because they're not reading language. Our ancestors are your symbols. The poor kids, the give only boss, less than no boss now. What it says, you're coming or no. <laughs> I'd like to explain about the project. It's been over 10 years already. Tourists, you're visiting our village. 10, 11 years, tourists are coming to us. But the 100 languages and cultures, 83 islands, all together in one. So, we think about 83, that's a lot for you to visit. Or even 200, that's a lot to learn. You have most of you from the boat. You have a one day, yes. see, we didn't have time to go have fun fishing together today, maybe. <laughs> yes, anyway, uh, it wakes you up. Mm. So, you're the boss, not time, it's the boss. <laughs> I want to go fishing today or any day, walk down the sea, this is what you're going to do. This is known, fastest way I will catch fish. Quicker way. Look at this. Does it look something to you? But this no. is known, the quicker way how we catch fish, friends, kids, when we have a uh, big ceremony here in Vanuatu. Big ceremony, like wedding, death ceremony, boys, girls, okay, you also do that, like weddings, I'll talk about here. I said we represent like 500, right, in my whole village. You get married here, do you know how many people comes to your wedding? 500 people cook together, eat together, one whole week. Yes, not one day celebration like you do in the town, in the city, one week. I think I'm going to marry. Moves the oxygen. Ooh. Within only a few minutes, you'll see the fish go crazy, get drunk, belly up, <laughs> yeah, float up the top. You just collect, fill them up in your bags. 
Lobsters okay. are very tasty. We all understand lobsters. They are quite expensive in a lot of our places. Yes. Vanuatu in the town, lots of money. Vanuatu in the villages, oh yeah. Mm. You want any lobsters, you can buy it, but like you go for it. And we build the pots. Uh, lots of kids. <laughs> I come from a nine. I have kids. Six. Highest family, they reach 12, 13 children. We are referring to like one father, one mother right here. I'm not many lives. I'm the only one. A lot of pictures and story in the museum with five, 10, 20. Yeah. They all live happily together. <laughs> we have to look for spiders with the web. Get this stick with the web, one up, another web, one it out, one in a compound with the web. So I always give you this very strong, oh. shiny golden arm. See, I'm touching the web. It's sticky and they're strong. It's a yellow gold web. Of course, there's a spider there. Mm. The spider itself, you can get him with you to see. You have to let him run away, build another web for another day. Mm. I only need the webs. Let the spider go, get a web, walk down the sea, mm. you jump in your canoe, you know canoes? Yes. Yeah. We jump inside and we paddle out from the ocean, drop your web on top of the sea, keep paddling, what do you call like trolling? Once I paddle alone, that means I have to run the web on the surface of the sea mostly every time when the sun shines in the web, the web gonna reflect from the sunlight. Mm. So the garbage, they see the web running top, very shiny, the top, those little shiny fish, they're gonna jump and they spray the web. <laughs> bite when they bite they get stuck because the web they're already sticky and of course the garfish they got sore teeth the teeth like so when it bite the teeth get to the web get stuck pull them up remove the little garbage put them inside your canoe mm. yeah young kids we eat a lot of garbage but they don't bite much unless you make them angry whatever upset they'll give a bite a little bit <laughs> but you're okay you still smile <laughs> No pushing the spiders, no pushing the snakes. Friends here in Vanuatu, remember that. So we are the luckiest. In river, there are no crocodile. Only do, do only dugongs. Oh, you know dugongs? Yeah. But, but the good thing about dugongs, they are vegetarian. Vegetarian, yeah? Yeah, they eat the grass. They don't need meat. They don't need people. <laughs> They see you, they run away. <laughs> main trap here for the wild pigs, wild chicken. These are the two main animals still here since like 100 years. When the British and the French came here, so kids here in Vanuatu, if you go to school, make sure you speak English and French because British French, they're both here in Vanuatu. Other animals like cows, goats, horses, sheep, introduced lately from the British and the French. Pigs, chicken, here before. So the wild pigs, wild chicken. You want to catch wild pigs? Up in the jungle. This is what you're going to do. Look for a tree, bend it down. Try to put the stick there. Roll, bend to make a little bit. Try to stick some length from here. Put it up. Lock it up from there. And put food. See the white stuff? Coconut. Most animals are like coconut. Pig comes. Eat coconut there. Eh? What happened to the pig? Stand on the stick. Remove from here. What it does? Swing him up. Ooh. Fly him up. Ooh. You go check it out. There should be pig hanging up there like this. Ooh. Little green pig. <laughs> and no green color pig. But, but you see how it goes up? This is a very small, tiny little stick for an example to show you we actually bend of a bigger branch. Imagine the bigger the tree, how strong you're going to swing. Just a second, not a minute. Catch the legs, upside down. Catch the legs. <laughs> So they're still known fast as well, catch wildlife, friends for pigs, especially today in Vanuatu, on Monday to Saturday. Our friends today, it's Sunday. Um, a lot of our people today, if you're traveling around, you'll notice, uh, if you see any of the people on the road, uh, they dress up nicely, they wear island dress or island shirt, that means they're going to church, where they have pattern or they all go down. That's the, uh, most people in Vanuatu, most people go to church. It's like a Christian country. Friend. Two times. Vanuatu awarded a peace place on earth. Two times. So we give you a big smile everywhere today. <laughs> For the wild pig, guys, you don't want to have chickens. Oh, you'll see some chickens around here walking around. Those, they're not wild. They're ours. We just live right up outside. Wild ones, up in the bush. This is what we do, boys and guys. Up in the jungle, we have to build something like this. Looks like a little house. What do you mean? Describe. Tied robe there. Up to the stick. Do the other side of it. That's the rope. 
Look carefully, friends. Here the fun. The stick standing up. It's been cut in two pieces already. See that? It's already split half. So the trap will fall easily. Watch the stick at the front. Watch it. Coconut again. Any moment you can go in there. Eat coconut chicken stand on the road. Put it down. A lot of us were born in the villages. So to tell you about the medicine, you see all the trees around it, us? 85% of the trees discovered today, we still use them for food and medicines. 85, that's a lot of medicine. Medicine can be used for good and bad ways. I'll talk about the good things. <laughs> First medicine come from the plant. Kids, remember this? They have this plant in Australia. If you're from Australia, they have this plant in New Zealand, if you're from New Zealand. So you can find this where you come from. If you know exactly the plant, I'm now gonna show you exactly what we use from this. Because today in a little town or even in the city, people, you plant them because they look pretty. We don't plant them only because they look pretty in the color, but also the other side for medicine. So we look at both sides. First medicine comes from the plant, many color, the leaves are green, some are yellow, some mixed color, one leaf. So now we have to know the name in English. It's called Correct. She's right. It's called coleus or colus. I had a lot of the mothers explain something like that. So I believe that's the right name. So it's the full purple color colus. Medicine belongs to the ladies. Okay. We believe at the time when a mother, she's still a very young girl there. She kind of, all, she looks perfect. She can do anything like sport, what? Football, volleyball, basketball. She looks strong. Uh, she looks fit. But what happened if the mother, she got pregnant? Yes, we've seen mothers here. Every time with a woman, she get pregnant. She kind of uh, looking tired. She needs support. Wash your hand, cup, water inside, squeeze. The colors, like I'm doing now, then a few drops inside. Watch this. Do you see the juice? Mm -hmm. That means the water in the cup should turn purple or red like a juice. Mm -hmm. Mother, phew, drink that five days every morning until for nine months. Help the support of the mother whenever she needs support. You call the medicine in English, iron tablet. Mm -hmm. Iron tablet. It's not only our mothers here, Vanuatu, when they, if we're all from the same village, make sure we all got the same pattern because sometime in future, if you get lost, you're killed because they used to have war. I will just look at the tattoo. I can tell exactly where you belong. We also even use tattoo today, friends, for engagement. You put the ring to tell somebody's Mary in the city, right? How, how would you tell somebody's Mary in Vanuatu? I've already told you there are like 200 cultures, 83 islands. I'll give you one example, guys. Have you heard about such thing what they call like arranged marriages? You heard of it? You didn't do that, do you? No. What? What? You do that? Where are you from? Tonga? Okay. See? We also do that, like people from our uh, friends from uh, Tonga. If you heard about, uh, I understand in today in the big city, people, they mostly make choices of in a town. But if you heard about such things like arranged marriages, remember this, it's still existing. A lot of our friends from India, they told us they arrange marriages, even other places like now, Tonga, Vanuatu, we still arrange. I didn't ask those people from bigger places like India, why they arrange marriages. You ask me from small islands, why we arrange, I'll tell you, land, very important to us. There's a rich family, you're rich with the land. I'm poor, I run sort of land. Woke up with the rich family. Hey, we want your daughter to stay with our son so that we can share the land. They agree. We agree. Both parents prepare a tattoo. Stamp it to the girl. Not the boys. Daughters. We boys. Watch. I see any girl every time she walk around the tribe. She got a special tattoo. You know, she's already been chosen or arranged for someone else. She got that special tattoo. Just like you got the ring. Oh. The ring, you can remove that. <laughs> Tattoo is permanent. <laughs> when you reach the age, the age of 20s, you'll clearly understand. Your grandparents always say to us or to you, hey, pick someone now. They want us to have children so we can take care of them. 
You don't have kids. Who's going to look after you when you get off? <laughs> and why we arrange because of the land is this. Land is very important to us. You don't have land. We're going to build a house. My land, my life. That's the same in the culture. Next green callers, baby born in villages. Our mothers like doctors and much of a hospital when you're born who take care of you, the lady or the female, the males. But in the cultures, only ladies take care of ladies. We fathers stay outside. So there should be a separate house there. We fathers stay outside, we wait and listen, baby cries out. Then you find it out, the father, oh, who is he, the boy or a girl? But when a baby is born in the villages, you know, mothers, our mothers, the only shoppers item they use when we're born in villages for cutting umbilical cord. Yep, piece of bamboo. You know bamboo? The, the green. We do that in the culture. We just trip the service. Very sharp, like Rosa. So they use that in the culture. The cut, tied it up. Get a green coat. Green coat, yes. There's a purple green one now. Squeeze. Then it going to dry up, stop the bleeding, just like any something. Yes, for babies, when we're born in villages, these, they use these for the belly button. <laughs> Madonna, Lily, what happened if a uh, situation like this? What happened uh, if any of the babies are born and your mothers find it out the baby born now, but is not breathing? Old lady, run out from the house there, outside, break the Madonna Lily plant, run back inside. When we father staying outside, see any lady, old lady run out, break this and run back inside, we figured it out. Oh, there's something must be wrong. Now the baby's born, not breathing. They put great get this back inside the house. You know what grandmother do? Pull this out. On top from a tube, there's a hole like a straw. So you know the coconut? That's it, the white stuff there. They grab it out and they use the, the, the white stuff to squish. The milk from the coconut run inside the tube from Madonna Lily and goes in from the very point, it's very sharp and soft. That means coconut oil is supposed to be like dropping, dropping from the end. Open the baby's mouth, open the baby's mouth, mothers. Push the tube, goes in, goes in, goes in. Read somewhere here, tickle, baby, cough. Mm. Brings back life. Let's have a look at this. Still, even today, a lot of a culture, you find it out today, we still drape, it takes with task. <coughs> goes a second <coughs> like this oh how long how long <coughs> how long you're gonna take somebody to raise a bit of pig task goes like this oh long time <coughs> it's not like three years four years no seven eight goes up so this is like money we pay for the pigs pay for the pigs not only the jaw brands not only the skull the sc must be real one real pig a real pig Task goes second, goes with the mats, the basket, the food, the necklaces, cover. That's the bright price we pay for ladies here in Vanuatu. Remember that. It's our culture. So this is what we do, boys. You want to marry someone's daughter? This is what we do, boys. <laughs> Walk up to the parents. <coughs> Ask for the daughter first. Hey, I want to marry your daughter. They... Tell me or judge me how many pigs they want. Taz grows circle before I grab the daughter. She's like, I paid them the money to pig, so I married a girl. <laughs> so, chicken feathers, chicken feathers in the gate are telling you right now, I got the money. <laughs> chicken feathers represent your pig farmer. See? So if you're looking from the bunch of feathers, the kids look at from the bunch of feathers. You see, there's little feathers, but from the top, we put the longer feathers go curve. Watch the top. Anyone walking in front of us today, and if you're looking from the top, you see a feather like long curve. The longer the feather go curve, I mean tells you, you're going to pick in the pig pan the top. <laughs> longer the feather, longer the task. Color of the feathers. Color of the pigs. Color of the feather. Color of the pigs. From one million today, it's only... 300,000 people. I believe the bigger melanation, because we are melanation black people, yeah, dark color people. I guess the bigger melanation uh, in, uh, have the biggest number of population is Papua New Guinea, which like up to 8 million. Mm. New Zealand today, maybe 6 million. Australia, 26, maybe, I'm not sure. Million. Vanuatu, only 300,000. Where are the rest? What happened? 
Okay, there are four actually main reasons you read, find it out, keep reading. These are the four. One, every time tribal war for land, you see the demonstration the boys give from the beginning? It's like this. It's like that. So it's something like this. If you were the came in order like 100 years ago, you're not sure you're going to be life or death. Or maybe you came first time, never came next time. See? Because they used to have war. Tribal war all the time. Mostly for the land, we want to have more, you want to have more land. That's one. Number two, you heard about cannibalism? That's how it started off. One million, not enough people, and not enough food. Then they start to kill in order for them to survive. Cannibalism breaks out. Number two. Number three, uh, also recorded diseases. Diseases. And again, remember this. There are some of our people here in Manawatu where even... Taken. Taken out like slaves. No, we're colonized by the British and French, remember that, yeah? But, but they didn't took our people far back to Europe, we can say like in England or France. They're taken, they put them in ships somewhere close. Of course, she's right. Australia, North Queensland plays Bundaberg <coughs> for Canefield Walkers. So these people, they call them Kanaks. Kanakas, yes. They had taken. 19, not from this island, you're in the middle right now. Port Vilesi in the central. But if you look at the map, far mm. the top, second largest. Name, Malekula. That's the name of the island. 1969. Mm. Mm. That's not very long. Mm. Well, the few good things, good things, but we appreciate the bad ones. Like chiefs are the only people how many wives, but the sad thing when a chief died, you know what? In the old culture, if the chief died, the boss or his wife should be buried with him today alive. Mm. Yeah, pictures in the museum. Chiefs, when they died, the wives are buried alive. You heard about kava? Mm. That's what they do with those murder. They drug them with kava, our local drink, our local beer, whatever you can describe, that you drink from the roots and you make you get drunk. That's how they bury them. Stories and read pictures in the museum in town, if you want to find the truth. Nwadu, Reverend John Williams, sent by the Elements, London Missionary Society, Presbyterian First Church. And you know what? I like to tell the truth. This first missionary, Reverend John Williams, he was killed, Eden, in Manawatu. Not this island. Below in the map, this island, below, it's called Eromango Place, Dillon's Bay, they call it now. That's where Reverend John Williams came second time, not first time. Came first time, reached here, the middle part, 1839, 43 here. Then he doesn't go up. Look, that's why they have the last cannibal in the top. He turned back to Europe, come second time again from the down, coming up. 18 uh, ten, uh, and 17 November, uh, 17, 18, 19. That's why kill. And they cook him, they eat him. But the, he was the one that makes it better now, stop the wives to be buried alive. We thanks for that. Kumala in Vanuatu. <coughs> New Zealand, they, sell, they say Kumra. Kumra, yeah. yeah. But that's the weaving. You see some of those handicrafts in town or wherever, the mother sell them. Any pattern now weaving to a mat or a basket, remember this? Each pattern represents each track. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the material they use in Vanuatu? Yeah. yeah. In Vanuatu, the material for weaving? It's pantanas. New Zealand, they say they use flex. There is short, uneven walking through the forest at the village. There are open roots to these large trees. As you walk through the forest, you will come across a tangled hut. And this is where the guys were drinking their kava because they could be hidden in the forest. And like all fabulous excursions, there's always a souvenir shop at the end. Just before the gentleman did a musical segment. Hey. <coughs> oh, Jesus, not again. Yeah. <coughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the Ekasup Cultural Village has been going for about 10 to 11 years and supports a population of about 500 people. So if you are going to be visiting, please do these local excursions because it's a very important part of the local tourist economy. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels.